Welcome to my kitchen. This is Cooking Under the Collar. I'm your host, Under the Collar. Welcome back, and it's great to have you on this Saturday or whatever day of the week you're watching this. I thought we would take a moment and do something easy and uh, hopefully fairly straightforward, and yet elevated just a little bit in order to give us a little more punch. Uh, we're gonna do a staple of Italian cooking and a favorite for kids. Today, I want to share my recipe for garlic bread with you. Let's look at the ingredients. To prepare, we're gonna actually not start with the bread, we're gonna start with the garlic. And I have a one, I have one teaspoon of warm water in this little bowl to which I'm gonna add one teaspoon of the garlic powder. You want to bloom the garlic powder. This allows the rich flavors to be released and all you have to do to bloom it is simply mix the, the powder and the water into kind of a nice little paste. This will allow that to become rich and as it sits for a minute or two, that will be perfect. Over here, I have gone and skinned three cloves of garlic and right here I've got, you know, a couple tablespoons of, of melted butter. I'm simply gonna, you could go and um, finely grate this, but I'm actually just gonna crush it through a garlic press. That should be pretty, pretty straightforward. Right into the butter. This is uh, going to be heated after this. And the reason we heat it is because it takes away some of that sharpness of the garlic. When you heat up the garlic, it, it removes that sharp kind of garlicky sting um, without compromising the rest of the richness of the flavor. So by heating this in the microwave for you know, about 30 seconds or so in the melted butter, it is going to help mellow out that garlic, that kind of intense garlicky richness um, that, we, that we do love. But in a bread like this, we want it to be a little more subtle. So into the microwave, this is gonna go for just about 30 seconds. With our garlic butter mixture heated up, I've given it a quick stir. We're gonna go ahead and now add that garlic paste slurry right into it and give that a good mix. That way all of the kind of compounds are able to get to know one another. But uh, there's been kind of a debate between the melted butter on garlic bread or the softened butter on garlic bread. And we are going to do both. So to do both, I've got another two tablespoons of garlic here. And we're just going to kind of dump that into our melted butter. Take a fork and gently try to incorporate this together. And again, this should come together nicely into something that is not liquid. It should be a little more solid. And if it doesn't, you can just let it cool for a minute or two, which it's gonna to have to anyway. And that way you can make it spreadable for the, for the garlic bread itself. Mine's a little liquid. While we cut the bread, I'm gonna throw this into the freezer really quickly. Now growing up, we would actually cut the bread like this and smear the, the butter mixture in the middle. It was a more simple version of the butter mixture. Uh, but actually, I don't love doing it that way anymore. I like to cut it, uh, bisect it all the way lengthwise across. So using a serrated knife, very carefully, you're going to go ahead and just cut this right down the middle in half. Trying to make it as even as you can and then uh, allowing that knife to go right through, opening it up, and that's perfect. We're just going to uh, go ahead and grab our butter mixture and get spreading. All right, it, uh, the, the mixture has solidified a little bit, not a whole lot. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add a pinch of this cayenne pepper just into the top of that, not a lot, and I'm going to uh, pinch a cayenne, pinch of salt as well, just just enough to kind of bring the flavors out. Although I'm sure they're plenty, plenty flavorful at this point. It's not really solidified too much, it's thickened up a bit, so I'm actually gonna use a brush, um, just because I wanna keep moving here. But uh, basically what you wanna do is take your bread and take your brush, and you're just gonna liberally spread this edge to edge on your, on your bread. If it fills in some of the nooks and crannies, that's fine, don't worry about that. Um, but you basically want to get this as kind of loaded on the top as you can. Again, different 
Different sizes of bread will require different amounts of this. You don't have to use it all. You can always put it in the fridge, save it for later, it'll, it'll be fine. Um, but I think that looks pretty good for me. I just, you know, using my silicon brush here, it's kind of thickened up a good bit. It is interesting how bread is such a, an essential to our common life together. Bread is just a staple, not just in our culture, but in so many cultures and previous cultures. And religiously, bread has taken on much, much meaning. Um, everything from the Eucharist, obviously, to Jesus talking about how he's the bread of life in John's discourse. Uh, for me, you know, I love bread, of course, and garlic, a good garlic bread is second to none. But um, I think food and, and, and the idea of breaking bread together, especially with a, within a spiritual context, is ultimately about, about trust, you know, that, that you, you break bread with another person because um, at some level you trust them. And that trust is a shared kind of goal for those who are together. And uh, that's why I think during this time it makes it so hard because we don't get to see each other. And, um, and I think that's where we have a little bit of this idea that when you're eating, uh, you're able to maybe let your guard down a little bit because you trust that person and then you're able to connect at that deeper level. So without that, we find ourselves maybe a little more on edge, maybe a little bit more um, at, each other's, at each other's throats about some stuff. And um, I, I can understand that and yet look forward to the day when we get to come back together and break bread. So we're gonna do something kind of weird here with this uh, bread. We're gonna put this in the oven, 425, and I'm just gonna cook this for about three minutes, and then we're gonna flip it over, and I'll show you what we're gonna do then. Okay, these have come out from three minutes in the oven. You can see they're not done. They're just, you know, nice and melted. We're gonna do something crazy here, and we're gonna flip these over. And not only that, but we are going to actually take another baking sheet and we're gonna put this on top, being very careful not to burn yourself. You're just gonna lightly press to ensure that full contact is being made with the bottom. We're gonna take both baking sheets and we're gonna put it back in the oven for eight to 10 minutes. All right, it has been 10 minutes and I'm just pulling the garlic bread out. You can see if you are concerned about dirty dishes, then this is not the dish for you. But let's flip these over and take a look. Ooh, look at that. That is gorgeous. You can see that beautiful, rich brown, perfectly done. You don't want to overcook this too much because it'll burn. The garlic will burn, it'll become bitter. Basically though, what we're gonna do is we are just going to slice these right in half. Just let your knife ride through it. I'm using a tongs just to hold it so that it doesn't go anywhere. And we're gonna put this in its serving dish and give it a try. We are done. The garlic bread is complete and it smells incredible. The whole house smells great. And uh, why don't we just kind of grab a piece here at random, let it cool for a second. Um, I highly recommend this version of garlic bread, but let's, let's try it and make sure. Mm. It is beautifully crispy on the top and a little bit on the bottom. Soft and delicious in the middle. It's got just the right amount of garlic flavor. Um, that garlic comes right out. A little salty, but not too salty. Nice and buttery uh, without being like drenched in butter. And it doesn't taste, it doesn't have like an artificial garlic taste. It's that blooming of the garlic powder, I think does a really nice job. So give it a go. Let me know what you think. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you like it. And we will see you Sunday on live stream. Have a good week. Uh-oh, you're evaluating my work. I am. Are you subscribed? I will with a red button. And give us a thumbs up. I'm a fan. Of course.